if it had an E it, it would be Oreos. This isn't Oreos, this is Oros. Oreos are a cookie, this is a board game. And we're gonna unbox this board game because it's in a box and it needs to be out of the box. So, Oros from Lucky Duck Games from AEO. Those two letters are next to each other and they're one. AESC game, AESC games. I don't know what that symbol is. Two letters run together. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's an A and an E and an S and a C. So we're going to unbox the main thing and then I actually have the wooden add-ons and the neoprene mat. Those are separate. We have those for photos. So those aren't in a nice box. They came to us in a regular box. So we're gonna unbox those afterwards, but those are separate and not what comes in the base game. I don't know much about this game. It was sent to us for review. It says erupt volcanoes, form mountains, and build sacred monuments in the pursuit of wisdom and knowledge. We don't have to know how to play for this video. We just have to look at the stuff that's in the box. Okay, so we have our, uh, there's obviously some polyomino stuff going on here. Very nice decorative. We have blue there. We have green with some Easter Island heads on them. Yellow has a very worried looking bird statue. The bird looks concerned and the guy that the bird is standing on looks very happy. And then red just has this, this chill guy hanging out. So every player obviously is gonna have their own little polyomino tiles, I assume to build on the map. Sorry for those of you who care about organization because these are all going in the same pile right now. We have the different uh, player pieces. So we have green and red, yellow, and the blue guy holding a fish. So those are the different player pieces that are in the game. Oh, oh, hold on, oh, I'm out of fingers. Okay, so I don't think this is a player piece because this is green on that side. Looks like a cat monkey. It's red on this side. I don't know. Probably has some sort of significance to the game. But we have the four player pieces and then the cat monkey. Now we have the tiles that I assume are the ever-changing landscape of the world. The tiles have numbers on them, assuming that that is some sort of point value. Would make sense. So these are the tiles, uh, they all look similar mixtures. Some of them have numbers, some of them have a little mountain symbol on them, but they all look very similar in that. Now we have the, uh, okay, these are the player boards. Oh, I get it now, I get it. I get the upgraded components. You'll get it in a second. When I show you the upgraded components, I didn't understand what they were doing. So these, I could pop these out. So, I'm not gonna pop those out right now, but we have the four player boards, all the same, but different colors. We have the pyramid board. I don't know if that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it, pyramid. Then we have the board board. Oh, those are tiny. Okay, so here's the board board, the island board. We're gonna be building the island on here. It's gonna be changing and shifting according to what I read on the back of the box. And we have these little, we've got some mountains. It looks like they score stuff in red and in brown. And then these appear to be, I don't even know what these are, but they're tiny. Totem pole, yeah, Allison's probably right. Totem poles. I hope stacking these totem poles is not part of the game. I don't know, but it's stacking them. Oh, there we go. I do hope stacking them is part of the game because I'm really good at it now. These guys look like maybe a go on there, like a hat maybe. And then do we stack again? This seems, this seems like these are cut out to work this way, but if this is what's the purpose of these pieces in the game, that is, oh, that's dicey. Yeah. 
I hope that's not how those work, because that seems like a very bad way to frustrate people. So we have a score pad. We also have the same, all of the same things in yellow and in orange and in green. Oh, they're volcanoes. It is the evolution of a volcano. One, two, three, four. Allison just commented, she's sitting right over here, just commented that it's messy. And it is, and I am sorry for anyone that has issues with that. I'll clean it up later. Uh, probably just gonna sweep all this back in the box. Allison's going to sweep, uh, put all this away back in the box. And we have our little standee stands. So this is, you all at least put the people on their standee stands. I'm not gonna put the people on their standee stands. Allison has to take pictures of this after I finish unboxing it and standee stands mark up the people and she doesn't want that. So I just got scolded from off camera for even thinking about having the audacity of putting standee stands on these things. So let's take a look at the cards really quick and then we'll get to the add-ons. So we have some cards that are, uh, look symbolically to match up with some of the wooden pieces. So we have, let's see, this is a, a, a guy and a cube move to the right. Cube and a mountain fall on guy. I don't think that's how it works, but they are color coded. So I think we're gonna have different cards for each player. And when you flip them over, oh, there's way more symbols on the other side. These symbols appear very well designed and meaningful once you know the game. Symbolism in the cards is probably fantastic. Uh, yes, the symbols on the cards match the symbols on the front of the box. We've got the orange one. We got this one. You can probably figure out what the other two are. So that is Oros the base game. Now we're gonna slide this board over here. And we have the player mat, neoprene, two-sided mat. There is side one for you right there. Okay, they are different. <laughs> so side two is smaller, assuming for, Hey, this has two sides also. So I'm assuming one and two players and three and four players most likely. So small side, big side, that's the player mat. And then and we have the other add-on components. Again, these are not included in the base game. These are additional. We have really, really thick guy, uh, wooden player pieces. Here's our monkey cat. And these are just, the wooden pieces are just upgraded. They're uh, same polyomino pieces, same artwork. They're just wooden instead of cardboard. Red, nope, that's orange. What? Okay. I thought she was telling me this was red. She did. Uh, she did tell me it was red and she was incorrect. So there's the three player pieces in all of their chonkiness. And here is all of the uh, polyomino pieces in the wooden upgraded components. And there's our monkey cat. So upgraded wooden components, upgraded neoprene mat, upgraded player pieces. And then we have, and this is what I was saying made sense after I actually saw the pieces, is the upgraded player boards. Um, so with this, it looks like, I was confused how this was gonna work, but it looks like the player boards maybe yeah all of these are going to punch out and then these are going to go on top so it's just a cardboard like slide in thing so this all lines up with this these will go over and i uh, maybe match up with this sorry i cannot punch these out because allison has to take pictures of these punched and unpunched so i'm just trying to like work with context clues here but uh, these do match up with the other side of the... I just had one that matched up. Are there multiple? No. I just had one that worked. Okay. Here we go. This blue one lines up. So, does it? 
Okay, not just, the, I'm looking for these to, th so this lines up across with all of this stuff over here. And that appears to be the way that those are gonna work, that they'll sit over and line up with that. Um, uh, I don't know the added function of the cardboard player boards, but it will require, I believe, these being in there, unless there's things hidden on the other side, which I don't think there is. So this is Oros from Lucky Duck Games and AESC Games, or however you pronounce that. Uh, this is fulfilling Kickstarter right now. I know the announcement is coming soon or the pre-order page is going up on the Lucky Duck website in a few days. So we will leave links below once that is available and you can check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I am sorry for the mess. I'm sorry for the mess, Allison. So we'll, we'll, you'll clean it up, I'm sure if you want it better organized than I'm going to make it. So again, we'll leave links below to where you can find Oros for yourself. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye. Oh, check out all our other videos too. We have playthroughs, we have tutorials, all kinds of stuff. Hit the bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you later. Bye.